Hi guys, welcome. So, slightly different in tone background. We're doing a home video. Ooh, not one of those ones. Now, as we normally do our usual Sunday streams and videos that you know of, obviously I said in the last video for the Paint and Star Trek, we'll be doing Star Trek uh, videos. So, to get those in, best way for me to do them is at home. So, here we are in my home. So, where we left off, left off for last time, we've got the Star Trek. Obviously, it did take a long day, but an hour and a half video this was. This because we was doing live streaming, so it was unedited. But it comes to doing the rest of these videos for painting underbelly, armour and whatnot. They will be a lot shorter, because I'll be able to edit it, because there won't be as much talking, hopefully. So, where we left off last time is we've done the top scales for the Star Trek, the blue one. And we did those using the Leviathan Blue as contrast paint. Did that on top. Once that dried, we then went with a Hoth, Hoth, Hoth Blue with a dry, dry brush and that over the top, just give it a nice bit of a extra depth to it. Now, for the un underbelly, what we're going to be using is Ultramarine's Blue contrast paint. Gonna go over that. Then, as a dry brush, we're going to be doing some celestial grey for the underbelly. Now, as I said before the previous video, I've got a rough idea on how to paint this. So I know I'm using this one, which is the ultramarine blue. As to the dry brushing, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but hopefully it'll turn out quite well, and you guys will be with me through the journey. So let's crack on and get painting. Hey everyone, we have the Star Trek nice and ready for us. So we're going to get some Ultramarine's Blue, give it a good old little shake. Oh, that needs a little bit more, more of a shake. It's a fresh pot, so I've not used it before, so it needs a bit more of an extra shake. Well, the intro, so, looks a bit better. So, contrast paint, wetting brush, knocking excess off. Then it's just dipping your brush in, loading up, and just painting straight on. Thankfully, where I've got a darker blue that I've put on top, I've not got to worry about going over too much because uh, with some paints if you go over them then uh, it requires quite a bit of touch up thankfully as the Leviathan is a darker blue it won't show up as much with the ultramarine being put on so all we're going to do is do this entire model of the underbelly Neckline, undertail, just all the small scale area basically, small scales. And once we have completed that, we'll be going on to dry brushing. So I'll quickly do this section here. Then in a second, you'll see all the underbelly painted with ultramarine blue. So, catch you in a second. So, here we are now. We've got the... Oh, I completely forgot which blue paint it was. Uh, ultramarine blue, painted all on the underbay now. And uh, my other half's just pointed out that's the second time I've forgotten my paint number, uh, name. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, that's still quite close there with the colours. So, at this kind of distance, you can tell there's two different colours on there. But at a distance, why does that pop out too much? So, next is we're going to dry brush it to make it stand out a bit more. And for that, we're going to dry brush with Celestial Grey. Right? We've got a Celestial Grey. It'll be handy to have a paint I find. With dry brushing, 
I've said, said this quite a few times before, swap around that way so you can see the brush, that a large shade brush from Citadel works quite nicely. And I found using a paint palette rather than a bit of tissue it works quite good as well with the paint. So you don't want much, much on the brush, probably about that much so. Then twirl it around on your paint palette. I want to collect all over the bristles. And what I'm doing as well, so I'll show you with the paint palette, because I'm using this brush was quite good. And this is where I've been mixing the paint onto the brush. And to make sure I've not got too much onto the brush, I've been rubbing it on the edge, just to make sure it doesn't come on too thick. Yeah. So we've got our brush lo loaded up, and just set circle motions, lightly to start off with, just to make sure you've not got too much paint on there. Just over the area you want to dry a brush. And you see already, Start making a nice little bit of an impact there, nice little change. Making that blue a bit lighter. Don't worry too much if you uh, go over bits because it's dry brushing at the end of the day and you can always touch up. See there, starting to make a nice uh, bit of effect there. And go on to the leg. Seems to take a bit more bet on the leg than as the underboot. So we'll just continue doing this on the model until you cover all of it, which you will see when we cut to our next bit. And there we have it. <coughs> that is the model now dry brushed with this celestial grey. You can see it's made more of a uh, change on the blue there. It makes both colours stand out a bit more now. So when it's at distance you'll be able to tell there's actually two colours on there rather than just one. So what I'll do as well is I'll zoom out Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll do that just so I get rid of the uh, loop there from the laptop. So, if I put on there, you can actually tell uh, there are two colours there. Obviously, it may not show too much on the camera, but eyesight wise, you can tell. And if you notice, there's a second star drake there. So, grab him over. And this one, you see a bit more, more, more of a change there, a bit more defined. That was the underbelly, is the Blood Angels Red with Troll Slayer Orange on top, dry brushed. Then you had Flesh Toes Red for the top scales, along with Squeak Orange as a dry brush on top. And as I'm going, going through these, I will be showing how to paint the uh, blue one up, but I'll also show you the progress on the red as well as we go along. So that's done for the moment. The ne next video will be doing all the uh, horns and spikes. So, that's our stuff for the man. I hope you uh, liked it so far. It's not nothing too big. It's just simple and easy uh, techniques I'm doing. Because, like I said, I'm only doing this to get it tape top ready. So, don't, don't expect anything too outstanding from us. Usual last bashing standard. So, the for the man. Like, comment, subscribe. And tune in for our next video. It will be the... Uh, 
horns and spikes. Catch you later guys.